You know I realized something when I was getting to set up the next video. All of my Let's Plays so far have been about anthropomorphic animals. I swear that was not- that's just coincidence. I did not mean for that to be intentional. <laughs> Anyways, greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to Star Fox 64. Previously, we went to Sector X to find the cause of the destruction of the base there, the Spyborg, which went haywire destroyed the whole thing. We took it out, but Slippy got sent to Titania the hard way, so we're going there to, to find him. After what happened on Sector on Sector in Ficina, I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I should have done better. Anyways, let's go and save him. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. I can't leave Slippy hanging. Good luck. Deploy the Landmaster! And now we're commenting a different vehicle, the Landmaster. Very different from the R-Wing. Sorry, Falco. You get a boost, break like the R-Wing, but... Although it could barrel roll, it doesn't deflect enemy fire. In fact, it just moves out of harm's way. Take out that desert rover. And unlike the R-Wing, which obviously can fly, the Landmaster can hover for a set amount of time, depending on how much you have how much use you usage you have the G diffuser beater. Beater beater. Just hold down Z or L and R at the same time. And you'll be able to hover for a few seconds. Enemy fighters coming at you, Which I will show right now. Take out that, that thing I just shot will detonate if you get close enough, so make sure you shoot at it before you reach it. I think it also counts towards your kill, kill counter. Yeah, it does. So it's kind of fortuitous to take it out if you're going for the high score. Take out that TDAT, the Titanium Automated Defense Turret. Actually, something very interesting about Titania. Not only does its name come from a character from the William Shakespeare play A Midnight Summer's Dream, but some runes indicate that Titania once had an ancient prosperous civilization that focused on... that had advanced... advanced, uh... construction and was known for having a lot of farming communities around it. But after a meteor hit the planet one day, it became the barren desolate wasteland that we know of today. Like that. I think it's still charge shot airport enemies by holding down A. There's a lot of charge shot enemies here. There's a lot of enemies with charge shot here. That's surprising. I didn't really notice it until now. And what in the world is causing these uh, things to tip over, slowly not the wind. I highly doubt there is any wind that comes off around Titania. Alright Falco, I'm gonna help you, don't worry. Oops. Oh wait, that actually helped! <laughs> cool! Unintentional bomb placement for the win. I'll just rock those two guys. That guy didn't even get a chance to throw his boulders. I kind of feel bad for him, denying him his one chance at glory. But we're nearing the end of the level. Take out these lasers. Lasers turrets. And there he is. Is that you, Slippy? I'll be there soon. Take out these plants to get a silver ring to replenish your shield. Knew you'd come help me. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Meet the Gores. The Gores actually belonged as part of the that civilization I mentioned earlier. It was often praised as a harvesting god when this planet used to be inhabited. It also serves as a defense system for the planet as well. And we got the sh oh, we got the metal. As you saw, it tried to use Slippy as a shield, but you can take out the rest of his tentacles in order to damage it. Now let's just shoot a bomb at it. And look at how much damage that did. That's amazing. Not even getting to finish its cycle. It will do a slow tail swiping attack, but I managed to prevent that from happening. So bombs are very helpful, I just learned that. Especially against bosses. All aircraft report! I thought I was gone. We're always saving your hide, Flip. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. When we get back, we'll head to Venom. You know, I just realized something. I think we just killed off the last of an ancient civilization. I'm not sure how Star Fox are going to be able to sleep after that. <laughs> but I don't think to focus on that right now. Though that would put a burden on my conscience. But regardless, we saved Slippy. And now the whole team's reunited as we head to the final stop before Venom. The Bull Satellite. One more thing I'd like to mention about Slippy's encounter with Agoras. In the manga, he develops PCSD mm -hmm. after being nearly eaten by it. That manga is pretty weird is what I've come to know. <laughs> but anyways, next time on Star Fox 64, we'll be heading to the satellite, which will be our final stop, our final obstacle between Ven and Venom. Until next time everyone, farewell for now. Captain's Log, Stardate, February 22nd, 2016. Our venture to Titania proved to be the perfect opportunity to test out our terrain-based vehicle, the Landmaster. It was a huge success in its first field mission. That being said, it must have been pure coincidence that Cornerian planning was concerned with Andros taking control of Titania's defense system, the Gorus. Slippy was captured by that creature when we found him and it attacked us. No doubt it was manipulated by Andros's biomechanical experimentation, the very reason Andros got banished to Venom in the first place. We were able to free our friend during the fight and neutralize Gorus. With the team back together, our morale is stronger than ever as we get closer to Venom. It's only a matter of time before we stop Andros and win this war. End log.